Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to our circle time number 48. And this is a circle time that's for you. Yes, for you who are at home, for you who would like to have just a little bit of yoga. You could be four years old, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe you're an adult. I don't know how old you are. Why don't you tell me? Well, we're going to do some fun yoga and then we're going to have a little story together with art. And so make sure you get your art supplies, okay? So your art supplies are going to be some markers, some paper. I usually do like a watercolor with markers kind of thing. So we have a lot of fun. And I'd like to tell you guys about my new fun thing that I've just completed and that is the Keto Kids Yoga Practice Cards. And you can find these on my website. That's Keto Kids Yoga in the shop. And this is basically we have here, you can see it's where you get to see where it shows a pair of scissors there. Make your own cards, make your own deck of cards. So what you get to do is guess what? Hold on. This is my little one that you printed out yourself from the website. It's a digital download. And this one would be, or your parents printed out, excuse me. And then this is going to be where you cut that one out and then you make your own box. So you get to make your own box and then, so it's an art activity, and then you get the yoga cards. Isn't that fun? It took me a long time to make this. And it, even in the back, it has some blank yoga cards. Or some, there's the back of the cards. And then it has some blanks where you can make your own pictures too. Isn't that fun? And you can print out as many as you want and make your little book. So that is a fun thing. And I also wanted to show you guys a lot of coloring pages. We're working on a series that's the Spirit Animal Series. So we have some different spirit animals here. And what is your spirit animal? Today, the animal that we're going to imitate in our yoga is the swan, the beautiful swan. So let's hold our neck up high. Mmm, shoulders back. Oh, can you imagine like you're all beautiful feathers. You're covered with feathers. Yes, it might be very hot, but that's why we're going to go to the water like that all right so let's let's get into our crisscross applesauce sit in half lotus and we're going to clap up to the top first and then come down to the opposite side and touch your opposite knee if both hands were down it would look like an x right but just one hand down and we're going to say key you know what i'm going to right clap your hands at the top do key <laughs> do can you do it this is we're going to build up some heat. That's right, and even sitting down, you can build up heat. You can do twisting, 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 or big movement like that, and big movement, yes. And also, we always, always start our yoga class before we do any of our other yoga. We start with the very first yoga rhyme, that is our opening yoga rhyme, where we say, this is our roof, Keeps us cool in the shade because it's summertime. Bring hands together. This house is homemade. Namaste. Yes. So for all of you who are watching live or recorded, I welcome you to this beautiful Keto Kids Yoga class, a little mini class. And we open the class, but we always, when we're doing yoga, we want to talk about the breath too. How are we doing on our breath? Breathing in through our nose, maybe out through your mouth, or you could breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, or you could breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouth. So many choices, right? Today we're going to do the breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. So let's do that three times really, really deeply. As much air as you could feel. Pretend there's a balloon right here. Ready? Breathe in. And blow it out. Very good. One more time. Breathe in deeply. Big one. And breathe out. Oh, it feels so good. When the air goes in here, I can just feel it. It feels wonderful. All right, and now we're going to do a little bit of twisting. So we're gonna get our glue 
and we're going to fly over land. We're going to stick our hands flat to one side of our body, sit up straight and twist all the way around to the back. We're going to count one, two, three, let go. Fly away, other side, stick your hands to the other side. Come on, don't just watch me do this too. Okay, twist, sit up tall, twist. You wanna twist all the way, even your head, even your eyes are twisting all the way. To the back, count one, two, three, and return home to the front of your body. Now birds flying, beautiful and free. We are the swans, so proud and so happy. Now I'm going to put my legs out to the front. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to put, bring my knees together like this and put them down on one side. So we're working towards something. I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to take this top leg and I'm going to shoot it back. Do you see how I did that? There you go. Shoot it back all the way. Mm -hmm. And then from here, I'm going to put my fingers right here and I am the swan, the beautiful swan with the long neck and full of feathers. I'm floating in the water and I'm gonna put my hands down flat and I'm gonna put one hand over here and one hand over here on either side of my leg that's bent forward here. And the swan is thirsty, so the swan will come down and get a drink of water. And then chin to the chest, come all the way up, and then look up. Oh, yeah. So you can feel I'm leading with my chest, going down, 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 get a drink of water. And now I'm leading with the back of my neck, coming all the way up like that. One more time. Let's put our hands out a little bit wider and go down, 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 down. Yes. And drink. And then come back up. Oh, yes. I am a very thirsty swan. And so now I'm going to do the other side. But before I do, I'm going to twist, 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 and twist, twist, twist. Oh, does that feel good? I hope you're following me. Don't just watch. You have to do it too, okay? Now I'm gonna bring that back leg forward and I'm going to put it on top of my other foot like a crisscross applesauce. And I'm gonna make a little box. So if you could pretend you're drawing a little box around my head and then I'm gonna make my feet go straight like that. Not that way, but that up. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the little box because I have to fit inside of this little box. And this one we call pigeon pose. And here, I'm going to breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Now I'm gonna just close my mouth and breathe through my nose. Maybe even I wanna to touch my tongue to the top of my mouth. It feels good. Hmm. Now imagine your beautiful birds, your beautiful swan, beautiful pigeon, whatever different kind of bird that you would like to be. And we're going to be in this little box. And I feel so cozy. I'm going to close my eyes. And I'm going to breathe in through my nose. And breathe out through my nose. Little birds, so relaxed. But then the birds get energy. Ah, and the birds want to fly. Okay, birds, you can fly. We're going to fly to this side. We're going to fly to this side. <laughs> fly and fly. I'm twisting. Yes, and fly up and fly down. And now I'm going to do the other side. So put your feet out. Let's do the other side. Oh, but what a good stretch that is too. Wiggle your toes. Show me open and closed, open and closed. Very good. And now let's do the other side. So we're going to put our legs up like this and our knees to one side. And this is the swan on the other side. So the top leg is going to go to the back. See how I pushed it all the way? It's straight. You see it's straight? Very nice. And now my forward leg is here. I'm going to put my hands on either side 
of my forward leg here. And when I bend my arms, it's going to look like this. You see? Yeah, like that. Almost feels like a tiger, Rawr. but I'm not a tiger today, I'm a swan. So this swan is very thirsty and the swan is going to look up, no water up there, look down, okay, here I come. Gonna drink and two more times. Mmm. Very nice. One more time. Go down, down, down. Get your drink. And come all the way back up. Oh, how lovely. And now I'm going to twist a little bit. So I'm walking my hands over this way. Ooh, that feels good. Are you doing it? Okay, and now I'm going to roll my back leg and bend my back leg. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to twist this way. Oh, that feels good. Now I'm going to take my back leg and I'm going to bring it all the way on top of the other one. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And you see, just like the other side, my foot is shaped like a, like a hmm, letter L. Not straight like that, but up. And my bottom foot is up too, so I can fit in my little box here. It's a little cozy box. And the beautiful birds are on the water, just floating, floating, floating on the water. And we love to rest and float on the water. Oh, but I got hungry. So I'm going to think about some yummy food. Let's see, I'm going to look for food over here. No. I'm going to look for food over here. Up. No. <laughs> Again, over this side. Oh, I don't see any. Oh, there's some. It's a piece of leaf. I'm going to grab it. Hum. Yummy. Okay, so now it's almost time for us to do some art. We're finishing up our little yoga part. And so we're going to just put our legs straight and stretch. And let's put our feet together like this. Oh yeah. And let's do one more yoga rhyme in a seated position. And this one is going to be this beautiful pose where our feet are together and our knees are down. And we say feet together butterflies, knees down low. Nose to your toes, how low can you go? Let's see, go lower. Your elbows are pushing your knees down as you go lower, my back is straight. And then at the end, oh, I'm going to put my head down. Mm. I like that one. That feels good. Are you doing it? I hope so. Now let's get our little spiders and we're going to walk our spiders forward, 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 all the way, stretching, 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 all the way. Mm. Very nice. Okay, spiders, come back home. Nice, and now let's finish up our yoga part, and that is crisscross applesauce, one foot on the bottom and one foot on top. Clap our hands and then we stop. I might want to put two feet on top. This one goes over here on this side. I'm going to glue it down, glue, 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 and then I'm going to take this other foot and I'm going to bring that one on top. Now, it's okay if you can't do that. That's all right, but I'm just showing you. That's a fun thing that you could do. Try to do. Show me if you can or you can't. If you can't, that's okay. Just enjoy. All right, and now we're going to finish our little, our little tiny yoga class with another yoga rhyme, which is we talk about our house. This is the house where I live, this beautiful house. So we say, what a beautiful house. And it's so full of sun. That's right. The sun is, oh, shining on me. I feel so good. Bring hands together. This house is fun. Namaste. Namaste, little one. Or namaste, big one. All right. Wonderful. And now, undo your pretzel and come with me for some fun art. Okay, I'm going to swirl you around. Here we go. That's my school. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is the beautiful art section. Okay, so today what we're going to work on, let's see, we're going to work on birds in the water. 
So we're going to do the beautiful art project together. Are you ready? Do you have your paper? Do you have your markers? I always start with the marker, which is a waterproof marker. And I'm going to put my glasses on. So let's do this. All right. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, here we go. So the water, first, I'd like for you to draw just little wavy water. So nice. And we say, once upon a time, there was a beautiful swan. And the swan loved to float and just... Can you draw that? And just relax on the water. This swan loved to drink the water and also eat the wonderful little plants that were in the water. So did you draw that part? If you want to follow with me. And then we're going to do a little tail like that. And we're going to come all the way up and around. And like that. So the beak, so follow with me. So the beak is going to be like that. And the little eye, so you could do a dot. And we might have a wing, like that. Maybe another wing over here. And that is our swan. So one day the swan was floating, floating, floating on the water. Oh, so beautiful and relaxed. And the swan saw something down in the water. Do you see how the swan is looking down? And what was it? It was something like little sparkly things in the water. Oh, and the swan was curious. So the swan got closer and noticed, oh, it was a silver fish. And so there's the little fish. The fish you can draw by just doing sort of like a letter C. And then the back part is just a little spike and another spike. That's a way that you can do the fish. And so there was a lot of little fish, actually. Mm -hmm. A lot of little fish. And then the swan said, hello, fish. How are you doing today? And the fish said, oh, we're doing OK. But we've had a little bit of difficulty in that there's some frogs that are trying to make us move. And we don't want to move. We want to stay by where our babies are. And the swan said, well, I know the frogs. The frogs are my friends. I'll go talk to them. So sure enough, the swan went over and there was the frog. And here's over on the land. There's a little piece of land. And the frogs look like this. We're going to draw the frog's head. It's if you draw first like a letter U. And then show me two bumps. So those are going to be the eyes. And then the eyeballs, yeah, we have to draw the eyes there, go right there. And then from there, the body of the frog can really just come down like a lump. And you can show some arms. There we go. That's good. Now, why I didn't finish the mouth, because I want to use a little bit thinner one. This one is also waterproof. I use all the Copic markers that's waterproof. And the mouth goes all the way across. All the way across. And the little nose sometimes can be like just two little dots like that. There you go. So that's the frog. And so the swan said to the frog, why are you bothering the fish? The fish aren't hurting you at all. There's plenty of room for everybody. And so the frog said, well, I heard from a bird, another bird, not you, that the fish were going to try to come and to eat all of the food and then I wouldn't have anything left to eat, all the plants. And even like little flies and things like that. And the swan said, you heard from a bird? But what bird? And then the frog said, oh, the bird that was flying up above yesterday, the red bird. Uh-huh, said the swan. So then the swan said, I will be the helper, and I will go and look for the red bird. 
So the swan was looking, looking, looking all around, looking up and looking all around. And then the swan found the bird. And there was the bird flying. So we're going to do the bird. It's going to have a little scruffy head like that. And it's going to have the, the flying wing and the little tail like that. And then the little feet. Oh, and the little eye. So that's the bird. I might draw some more detail with a smaller marker. And so the swan looked up and the swan said, bird, bird, red bird, why did you tell the frog that the fish are going to eat all the food? And now the frog is trying to push the fish away and it's causing a lot of trouble. That's what the swan said, and you heard the voice of the swan got a little bit, like, strong, causing trouble, like that. And so then the little bird said, tweet, 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 tweet. And you know what that meant? It meant, sorry, I didn't mean to cause trouble. And she flew away. And the frog heard, and the swan heard, and the fish just said, bloop, 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 bloop. and that means they heard, too, from underwater. And so now everybody decided they're going to have a very peaceful day and not argue anymore. So let's color everybody in. What color was the bird? Right, red. Okay. So we're going to get some red. Mm, let's see, how should we do this? My favorite way. I have watercolor crayons. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I have watercolor, I have watercolor paint in here. That's fun. What should we use today? I have some watercolor markers too. Those are fun. I think I'll use the watercolor markers. I really like those a lot. It's very satisfying. Remember what I always tell you guys, if you get this kind of marker, you never have to throw away the case because you just can add more ink or grown-ups can add more ink here inside you get refill very cool it's called echo line so i always share with you the kind of supplies that i like copic markers they're a little bit stinky but not too bad maybe not the best for young young kids but you know as we get a little bit older you can buy different supplies or you could just use your old crayola markers or any kind of markers that you want to use you could use crayons anything you want I just like to use this one. So I'm going to use just a little bit of red. I don't have to use a lot of red because guess what? When I come in with my paintbrush and I have this paintbrush that already has water in it. Isn't that cool? I have other kinds of paintbrushes too, but this one I like for making videos and even just for doing it myself by myself. And so now I'm going to just paint, paint, paint. Can you see? And the red color is coming down. Very nice. So this little bird tried to stir up some trouble, but then said, sorry. <laughs> sorry is a big deal. It's a big word. We like the word sorry. Okay. So what other color should we use? We used the red one. What color is the frog? Mm-hmm. Not just green, but little different colors of green, right? Because I like to use some of this. I'll use the same one, this light green. This is a light green. And I'm going to, again, do that same pattern of where I draw just on the outsides. Okay, like that. Not the whole thing. And then I'm going to take my pen, my, um, my watercolor, uh, sorry, my brush. <laughs> I got distracted. And I'm going to just color down, get some water there. There we go. And color, and really rub around all the color. Oopsie. Rub around all the color. And blow on it. That's what I tell my preschoolers, blow on it. And then after that, we are going to draw the fish. What color do you think the fish are? I think that it was some shiny color that the swan saw when the sun reflected on the fish. So let's look and see if we have something shiny. Hmm. I let my preschoolers use all my glitter markers and so they're not in here right now. What shall I use? I think I'll do some pink. 
kind of shiny. And so I have these new, this is a Zebra Sarasa. I really like this one a lot. It's actually like a milky, milky one, which it's called milky. That's what they're called. The milky markers. Well, I, we can't drink them. And so I just had an idea to do my fish pink, but I usually just draw like the top part and then I'll come in and I'll, I'll come in with different colors. So you can draw the fish any color you want. Remember, they were reflecting the sun. They were kind of shiny under the water. So that one's not a watercolor, but I still like to draw right on there. Where did that come from? Okay, and let's see what else. I guess something else that might reflect the sun would be a little bit of yellow. I'll do some yellow here too. That's a nice combination, yellow and pink. You might have noticed my fish don't have any eyes. I just realized that. So I'm gonna draw some little eyes on them. And I'm, I think I'm gonna to try to mix it up, see what happens. Oh, it does mix a little bit, that's cool. Sometimes you just mess with stuff and it turns out kind of cool. I, the swan is white. And in fact, let's see if I have, let's just do like an accent. I have this beige, it's called pink beige of these, these kind of markers. And I'm gonna do the swan that will be just kind of like an accent like that that's how i'm going to do it just a little bit to show like the shadow and then the water but before that i said that the green was going to be different greens and i said eyes for that one we could just keep going 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 and i want you guys to keep going we have actually run out of time now we're almost done so let's see, another green I'm going to use is this sort of darker green. I'm gonna do some accents. Just some fun little lines, see? Sometimes you can just do what we call shading. That's crosshatch, just little lines, just for fun. Yeah, it's still a little bit wet. Anyway, just come some fun stuff. Sometimes I just make it up as I go. What's the last part? Oh, the eyes, thank you. So the little eyes like that makes a big difference. Maybe the fish also have little fins, like extra fins to go extra fast, and little mouth. And there might be some bubbles. We like bubbles. Bloop, 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 Blue, 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 blue. Everybody's blowing bubbles. Do you blow bubbles when you play in the water? Blue, 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 blue. Okay, what a fun time this was. I really enjoyed this session number 48 of our circle time. We're finishing up now. And I think if you look at this, probably the first thing that pops out is that it just needs more color, right? Like the water. I can do that. But I'm thinking one little thing is popping out at me, and that is I want this beak to be yellow, and I want this beak to be yellow. That meant something to me. <laughs> All right, and the very last part is the water, as promised. So I'm going to use again my favorite little uh, echo line pin here, and I'm going to do, you might have seen me in past weeks do this, where I just take the top, I'll go right over the bubbles, that's okay. It's fine. And then what I do from here is I actually bring it down with, um, I, I paint it down a little bit. So I'm gonna do get a lot of water in my brush, it's actually dripping, and I'm going to just paint it until it starts to come down. Isn't that fun? It really is a nice, fun thing to do. And that's why I really like those markers. And then we just kind of bring it down. Depending on the paper that you have, this is not like true, true watercolor paper. But that was pretty cool. And then the very last part is this other light marker. I'll just come in here with some kind of light one at the bottom. That's all the water. All right. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful little session. Yeah, I can see this is not, it didn't work very well, but that's okay. How about let's come in with some blue. Uh -huh. Okay. 
and we can just paint in and fill in all the different parts. Isn't that fun? So enjoy to finish your painting. Yes. And we will see you next week, every Thursday at 11, okay? On Facebook, and I'm going to pretty soon start on YouTube also, I decided. We're just testing out different things, different ways. And voila! I should say, et voila! And that is the water. Now, I could just keep going and going and going, but we're going to say goodbye for now. And so I hope that you enjoyed this wonderful little session, and we'll see you again next week. All right. Have a wonderful day, and stay safe and stay well. Namaste. Bye.